Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find the efficiency of Huffman coding for the given symbol and its associated probabilities. In this case, we have been given four symbols A1, A2, A3 and A4 and associated probabilities are 0 0.9, 0 0.06, 0 0.02 and 0 0.02 respectively. Given this particular data, we need to find the efficiency of Huffman coding. So to find the efficiency of Huffman coding, first we need to find the Huffman coding for each of these particular symbols. Now the next question comes in front of us is how to calculate the Huffman coding for each of these particular symbols. So in this case we have been given four symbols as said earlier and their probabilities is also given to us. Now what we do here is uh, from these particular symbols we will select two symbols whose probability is minimum in this case. So if you look at this particular case in this case uh, we have A3 and A4 having probability 0 0.02 0 0.02 so we will select those two things and then we will create a node here. Now we will merge these two that is A3 and A4 to get the next node in this case that is 0 0.04. If you add 0 0.02 0 0.02 you will get 0 0.04 here. Now we have considered A3 and A4. A1 and A2 are not yet considered and their probabilities are 0 0.9 and 0 0.06. And uh, after considering A3 and A4, we got the probability 0 0.04. Between these three, that is 0 0.04, 0 0.06 and 0 0.09, 0 0.04 is the minimum. And the next minimum is 0 0.06. So I will consider that on the right side because between these two, 0 0.04 is smaller and 0 0.06 is maximum number here. So we will consider 0 0.06 on the right side here. Now that is nothing but A2. I will merge these two things. We will get 0.1 as the new probability here. We have considered A2, A3, A4. This is a new probability that is 0.1 and A1 is the one more symbol whose probability is 0.9. Now we need to consider these two things. There is no other alternative options here. But the only question is uh, should I write this particular A1 on the left side or the right side? If you compare these values that is 0.1 and 0.9 0.9 is more than 0.1 here so I will write 0.9 on the right hand side and then I will merge these two things I will get 1 as the probability here. Now once you uh, form this particular tree next what we need to do is for each of these particular left branches we need to write 0 for each of the right branches we need to write 1 here. So that is what I have done here. Now once you write this particular 0 and 1 for left and right branches now we can easily write the Huffman coding for each of these particular symbols. For example, if you want to know what is the Huffman coding for A1 here, if you want to reach this particular A1, we have to travel this particular path. That is uh, uh, this particular path containing the value 1 here. So the Huffman coding for A1 is equal to 1. If you want to reach this particular A2, we have to follow this particular path that is 0 and 1 here. If you want to reach this particular A3, we need to follow this particular path that is 0, 0, 1 here and if you want to reach this particular A4 we need to follow this particular path that is nothing but 0, 0, 0 here. So that is what I have written in this particular table. Huffman coding for A1 is 1, A2 is 0, 1, A3 is 0, 0, 1, A4 is 0, 0, 0 here. Now once you get this particular Huffman coding for each of these uh, symbols, next we need to calculate the total number of bits required to represent this particular Huffman coding. So that can be calculated using this formula that is uh, the length is always equivalent to summation of number of bits for each of those particular symbols. For example, if you want to represent A1, how many uh, bits are required? One bit is required. If you want to represent A2, how many bits are required? Two bits are required. That is what the first uh, component of this particular formula. Second component is the probability for each of those particular symbols. For A1, the probability is 0.9, for A2, 0 0.06 and so on. Now we need to put those particular values over here. For A1, 1 into 0.9, that is what I have written here. For A2, uh, 2 bits are required and uh, 0.06 is the probability here. So that is what I have written. For A3, we have uh, 0.02 as the probability and 3 bits are required to represent A3. That is nothing but 3 into 0 0.002 and A4 is 3 into 0 0.002 again here. Once you solve this uh, equation, you will get 1.14 bits here. That is the total number of bits required to represent uh, this particular Huffman coding is 1.14 here. Now, one more uh, thing we need to calculate that is called as entropy here. 
H of S that is the entropy of this particle Huffman coding is equal to minus summation of K is equal to 0 to N minus 1 PK log PK to the base 2 here. Here PK is the probability of uh, each of those particular symbols. Now we will uh, try to put those particular probabilities in this equation so that you will get the final uh, uh, entropy here. So minus I will take outside within bracket. 0.9 is the first probability here. So 0.9 multiplied by 0.9 log of 0.9 to the base 2 here. Second probability is 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 log of 0 0.06 to the base 2. Third one is 0 0.02 and fourth one is 0 0.02 here. Now once you solve this equation, you will get 0 0.6046 as the entropy. Once you calculate the total number of bits required to represent Huffman coding and the entropy, you can calculate the efficiency of this Humphrey coding easily with this equation. Efficiency is always equivalent to entropy divided by the total number of bits required to represent that Huffman coding. So entropy in this particular case is 0 0.6046 that is what we have calculated here divided by the total number of bits that is 1.14 here. And once you solve it, you will get 0.5303 as the efficiency here that is nothing but 53.03 percentage here. So this is a simple approach we need to follow so that we can calculate the efficiency of Huffman coding for the given symbols with associated probabilities. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.